Hello there, in today's video we are going to be talking about sound in physics objects. As you can see when it hits something, um, it creates a sound, spawns a sound asset and it's gonna play. And it's not a blueprint actor, as you can see it's just a static mesh actor. We could just go ahead and create a blueprint actor with it. But we, what we would like to do is, I, I have this thing here, I can just make it a physics asset and uh, play around with it and make sure it has sound. Uh, so it's kind of something that you can um, interact with it procedurally. Okay, let's create it. It's called BP Underline Child Actor for me, uh, but you can just go ahead and call it something else. So in your Blueprints folder, right click, Blueprints class, uh, click on this one, Actor, and you have a new bl Blueprint that you can uh, call whatever you want. As I, I, I just said, it's called BP Underline Child Actor because it's going to be a child actor of um, all of my physics uh, all of my static meshes that have simulate physics turned on. Okay, so I'm going to be deleting this one just because I don't need it anymore. So, it has nothing inside it. As you can see, it's just everything is just default. We can just go ahead in the event graph uh, and we have the event begin play. If you don't have it, event begin play. Just make sure, um, type, it in, type it here, make sure this one is enabled, context sens sensitive. Um, and then what you need to do is go get the get parent actor, this one right here. And then we want to make sure that when the actors hit, we uh, generate an event to play the sound. So type in hit, you have uh, all the events events related to the collision so we want to bind an event to on actor hit so this one right here i've already done it so i don't really need to do it again then from the events you have to create a custom event um, name it something for me it's called on actor hit on a line event then you'll get all the uh other actors, normal impulse and hit. Hit is pretty important. So we need to um, get the break hit results because it gives us all the information we need later on, like physics, material, what actor it's hitting, what component it's hitting. This one's pretty important. If you want to, if you want it to hit when it hits a component that has a specific tag, for example, I want this. Um, to not play anything but when it play, when it hits this tree and this tree has a tag in it it sounds like a specific sound so it's kind of really important gameplay wise um so let's delete it and then i need to make sure that it's not playing sounds all the time because as you can see if I just print string here and make sure I am using the normal impulse it's playing sounds it's doing something all the time if these are going to be translated into sounds we would have something terrible and we don't want that okay then branch this one right here and from the normal impulse we need the vector length length here uh, if the vector length is more than 4000 units then the branch the if is true so we just type gray her and we'll just type in 4000 uh, and then this one comes to the branch and look how different it is right now. So I'm going to use the vector length. It's much, much less. And 
makes more sense. Okay. Um. So let's control Z. Then we need to make sure that it's not hitting itself because sometimes, I mean, it's kind of silly, but sometimes it actually hits itself and just makes sound. So make sure it's um, equal, not equal actually, to self, get a reference to self and then branch. If it's not equal to self, then this one gets true. And it's as simple as that. If you don't want to um, check this one, you can just skip this what this part doesn't really matter. Then we want the forces to um, be set into a parameter so we could just um, use them later on. Where's the hit location? Because this is pretty important. If we are using an attenuation setting, the hit location is definitely important. The force is going to be later on used in the volume multiplier so it, uh, it just it's a relatable parameter if a force is higher if the um, impulse is higher then the volume is higher if the impulse is really low you may not be able to hear it it's like the way it works in real world so we want to map the vector length coming from normal impulse so map um, clamp, map, map range clamped, we want to clamp it. And the values I'm using are, um, this is the value coming from the um, normal impulse and the vector length out of it. The range A is zero, range B is 5,000, range A is zero. In range B though, I'm right, I'm going to right click promote to variable I'm calling it volume because this is something I can easily change later on and my volume at the moment is 2 um, normally it's just a, it's just to present to you I can just crank crank it up to 10 and it's gonna be a lot worse it's not gonna work in real world so something like 1 or holy um, 0.5 would be nice I mean of course you can just leave it at 1 and play around with the attenuation settings later on um, and then this one right click promote variable call it force this one right here make sure it's um so if it's not equal to self, it goes into the branch. If it's not equal to self, it comes out of the false. To set the force parameter and then set the hit location. So we can just, we have the location here, right click, promote variable, make sure to um, actually set the hit location to um, write your code cleaner. Then what we need to do, we want the physics material to be set. So for example, I'm using my uh, landscape instance and the physics material is the default physical material. But as you know, I can just go into the edit, project settings, come all the way down into physics and I have all the physical surfaces here. I can just add one. I can go into my land, I can just, I have to right click, add a physical material. Uh, I guess it was in the material physical surface. No, physics. Physical material, I have to add a physical material and make sure the name is correct. It's not something I want to teach at the moment, but you can just easily Google it and uh, learn a lot about it if you don't know how it works. At the moment, it's set to default physical material. This is something we need. So definitely right click. If you want to promote it to a variable, I'm just using the note here. Um, physics material. So I have a, um, so yeah, right click, promote it to a variable and then come all the way uh, up here. Make sure this one's not a single variable, but a map to, um, so we are going to be using a sound base object reference. So this one's going to be a map to 
sound base object reference this one then hit compile and then you have to add stuff in it um, so for me I don't have any physical material set up yet so I'm using the default physical material this one right here and I'm using the collision sound it's just an uh, SFX I have this one and when it hits this physical material it will play this sound um, and if it's not finding anything though this is pretty important if it's not finding anything you need to use a branch after the hit location and if it's finding something it will just play the sound at location play sound at location this one right here um, and if it's not, you can just randomize it to play something else. I'll show you in a second. So play sound at location. The location is definitely hit location. The one that we just specified here, it's the hit location. The sound is this one. It's uh, going to find, oh, by the way, we can just f use the find and um, it's going to use the physical material here we can use the sound here rotation doesn't matter volume multiplier is force uh, pitch multiplier I'm using a random va uh, random variable that it really uh, isn't important doesn't matter whether you want to do it randomly or you want a um, pitch based on force or you don't want anything at all it's just completely uh, onto you you can just come in here and multiply the uh, force by something or maybe by a random variable to make it dependent to the force it's just something for you to play around with later on um, and you will have something else for the for when it's not finding anything in the physical material section so it works on the landscape just because the physics material is set to default physics material but if uh, we have set some physics material and we are using something else or we are using just on um, the value none uh, it won't play any sound because it's just it's it doesn't find anything inside this one we haven't set none in it um, maybe we could just go ahead and set none to something else that, um, that could work or you can just create this one play a sound maybe you can just random array item and create an array uh, and do it that way or maybe you don't want any sound in the other physical material it's just um, something you'd like to do for yourself okay so how can we use this actor this is just a code it doesn't have anything inside it so you can just create a shape or anything honestly and mass should be less <laughs> and then make sure it's movable make sure it's simulating physics doesn't matter if you click on this one or this one both work the same make sure it's uh, simulating physics for um, optimization purposes you might need this one to be turned off I mean if it's falling from the sky it's it should be awake but it's if it's just waiting for you to be interact interacting with it it should be turned off but in my case it's not and it should be simulating uh, generate hit events let's see oh by the way I haven't added the actor I need to add the actor child actor And the actor should be called I mean I've just called the child actor so uh, and that should be it as you can see it's playing sounds easy peasy so 
you can just create an asset within just seconds just add the child actor to it should be a child to uh, the static mesh component because it's just because the static mesh is moving around so the child should be a uh, child actor should be a child of it one other thing I wanted to note here is that we have this attenuation setting if you don't want to use it I mean it's your choice but I'd say it makes your whole experience much much better sound attenuation um, collision SA okay let's see so this is the default value but I'd say we could go a little bit lower and maybe lower in this case as well so SA collision uh, we have SA collision uh, let's see how it works this way so if it's really really far away from me I can't hear it anymore it's still generating sounds I just can't hear it because the natural order of things but I'm close oh look at that oh she just hit me and killed me ha 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 okay this is the new bug of my game <laughs> okay um and this was it I hope it helped you and if it did please hit that like button and have a great day